Hello, this is Josh Rice. Uh, today I'd like to show you uh, some things I've been working on in my mod in Terraceology. Um, this has to do with power tools. Uh, so I haven't quite released it yet, but uh, it's definitely in the works. A couple more things to figure out. Um, so what I'd like to show you today is uh, turning an axe, a shovel, a pickaxe, and a sledgehammer into power tools. Um, now the feature we've got right now is uh, to be able to add a tool extension uh, so that you can uh, damage neighboring blocks as you go along. Uh, this should be helpful in you know excavating big areas uh, and that sort of thing. Uh, so um, in order to use this you would bring up your tool assembly table, you get yourself a screwdriver and then for this demonstration we're going to take our axe, we're going to also take a tool extension, plunk it in there and we're going to craft it together then we get our axe, which damages one adjacent blocks. Um, so this is all good, except for it is not powered yet. Uh, so right now, if we use it, say in this tree, it's only going to do that same block, just like we expected before. However, if we go in to our tool assembly table again, uh, we put a mainspring on it. Now we have power 0 out of 100. So now we need to fill this up with power so that we can use this feature. Uh, so I'm going to w put down this new other block called the winder. You know, it takes in uh, your tool and it charges it up with power. So let's also supply this with power. I've got my trusty diagnostics engine here. There you see it filling up from the diagnostics engine. We plunk this guy into the input and it will slowly charge up until it's full. We're not going to let it go all the way because time. Uh, so now we can go over here to our tree. We can attack it. You can see it's also damaging the block below it. So you get some cool efficiency there. And also notice it's still taking uh, durability damage and such. Uh, so let's also do something even more awesome. Let's take take this shovel. Let's add well, let's start. Let's start small. Let's start. We're going to add four tool extensions to this guy. Two, three, four. And then also add our mainspring so we can wind it up with power. Alright, got power. Now, when we use this shovel, say, on the ground, it will damage, see, the four adjacent blocks, starting down here and going around clockwise. Well, I guess you don't know it's clockwise, but as you add the, the different tool extensions, it you know, adds one more in that range. So now if we go in and add another tool extension, damages five adjacent blocks, dirt. So then it also covers this bottom right corner as well. So if you want the full experience, you would add eight of these. Shovel. Six. Seven. Eight. So now we should get the full effect. It damages a whole bunch of stuff at once. Oh, and it missed that last damage. Perfect. Oh, we ran out of power. That's what happened. <laughs> so our power got down to 3 of 100, so it stopped damaging neighboring blocks. Let's power this up a bit more this time and actually get through some of this dirt. <clears throat> so something to note, every time you hit, hit a block, it uses power. Uh, so we got 63. We hit it once. We've now got 60. Uh, and then every time you actually break a block, you lose uh, you lose durability. All right, so that is damaging adjacent to its fullest. So we can also add this on to uh, a pickaxe or a sledgehammer, and you know, pickaxe is good for mining uh, ores, and ha sledgehammer is good for digging into stone. Uh, so you can get you know, when you're underground. <coughs> can be able to damage more stuff at once.
get through that quicker, more quickly. Uh, so if we wanted to add more power to this, we could just keep on adding mainsprings. So right now we've got uh, 45 of 100, so we can add another mainspring. It's now 45 out of 200. So you can keep on adding that, you know, based on the cost of metal, you can keep on adding more power to this thing so it can last longer. Which brings us to the next tool that, that we've got. Um, so we've got this block placer. Uh, so in block building games, sometimes I get a little impatient with having to build bigger structures. Uh, so by using power, we can then place more than one block at once and hopefully help us build bigger structures more quickly. Uh, <clears throat> so we've got our block placer. Let's wind it up with power. Should be good enough for a demo. All right, so as you can see, when you hold it, it gives a little selection box uh, saying basically where it's going to place blocks. So if we do it down here, it's going to do a big area. Now, one thing to note, right now it's placing air blocks. Um, that's probably not what we want. Let's get it to place some stone. So I need to work on this interaction a bit more. If you press shift and right click, it will then capture whatever you're looking at. So now it's going to place stone blocks. So we can test it out by right clicking and it adds a stone block. We can also go on the side here. We'll start making all sorts of neat things. See if we can cut a hole in here. So we can do cool things like you know, building vertically. Let's actually get up a bit further. So we can see what it's doing. <clears throat> so that'll fill in the gap there. That'll build it up. Yeah. So then the other additional feature, oh great, I fell down. Am I big enough for that? I'm not big enough for that. Uh, is uh, the other problem with, uh, with building sometimes is uh, standing on a ledge and wanting to build, you know, outwards. Wanting to build the, the ledge outwards. Uh, so with the block placer, if you just kind of look over the edge, it'll give you a selection window that uh, will allow you to extend it. So you can get some easy building of big platforms and such without having to monkey around with getting underneath it or getting beside it or falling off, that sort of thing. Anyway, that's my demonstration for today. Thanks.